Once upon a time there were two Spider-Men. The first one was Peter Parker, the Spider-Man we all know and love. And then there was another guy, a clone of Peter, created by a mad scientist. The two Spider-Men fought in battle, and Peter thought he has defeated his opponent. But he did not. The clone ran off, traveling the country and giving himself the name of Ben Wiley. The first name Ben was from his uncle Ben, and Wiley was the maiden name of his Aunt May. A few years went by, but when Ben Wiley found out that his Aunt May was on the brink of death, he returned to New York, and the two Spider-Men met again. Ben Wiley was not only a copy of Peter Parker's body, he also got his sense of responsibility. He started fighting crime in an all-red suit. With a blue hoodie he got from a spider exhibition. The media of New York called him the Scarlet Spider. And that is the story how we got to Spider-Man. That was, in short, the beginning of the so-called Clone Saga, which started in the Spider-Man comics in 1994, already a long time ago. The storyline was only planned out for six months. But it became very popular and it was extended again and again, till it ran a course of two years. As you can expect, things got pretty messy in the end. At one time Marvel wanted to make us believe that Ben Wiley was in fact the real Spider-Man and Peter Parker was the clone. The fans really loved Ben Wiley and the Scarlet Spider, but that was just too much, so Marvel rolled back. But nevertheless, the Clone Saga and the Scarlet Spider are still loved by many fans today. And I totally understand why. These were exciting times. History was in the making. I remember going to the comic shop each month and I couldn't wait to find out what's happening next. And I have to admit I never felt like this again reading comics. And now we are here so many years later. And I finally got a figure of the Scarlet Spider from Hot Toys. It was an exclusive figure and a little bit hard to come by. I bought it second hand. Because when the figure was first released I thought I don't need it. But I was wrong. I need the Scarlet Spider. It was part of me while growing up. Ok my friends, let's talk a little bit about the figure now. It is part of the Spider-Man video game universe. I played the Spider-Man video game on PlayStation, but only for a little bit. So I can't tell you if this suit is just an option, or does it have a real meaning in the game. I honestly have no idea. Maybe one of my faithful viewers can fill me in. The figure is of great quality, as you would expect from Hot Toys. The suit is real fabric. And as you have seen it comes with a lot of accessories, like extra hands. But some of the things are really strange to me, like the box of pizza or the cup of coffee. But maybe these are related to the video game, so I can't tell you. In the comics we have seen Spider-Man eat or drink a few times. He always does it by lifting up his mask over his mouth. So it would be nice to have an alternative head for this Spider-Man figure. If you give the guy so much food, he should be able to eat it. It is no secret I'm very happy I finally could add this figure to my collection. It is not only part of Spider-Man's history, it is part of my history. The Scarlet Spider will always be one of my favorite characters. It was a fresh new take and like I said before, exciting times. I also should mention that Ben Wiley added some weapons to his arsenal that the real Spider-Man didn't have. These days we have so many Spider-Man I lost count. But back in 1994 it was a bold move. For me the Clone Saga is still fun to read. Because there is so much going on. Maybe replacing Peter Parker as the real Spider-Man wasn't the best idea ever. But it took you by surprise. And that is what I expect from a good comic. A great story 
that will keep you engaged for a long time. The Scarlet Spider was a success, because he is still around these days.